Was ever there a better day to talk about feet? What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Yashua here. Um, and I actually was just interviewed last night, super late night, um, by Ireland AM. I guess this is in Ireland, like the biggest talk show and the morning talk show in Ireland. They reached out to me. They said they saw my videos on TikTok and they wanted to talk feet, bare feet. Um, it was a great interview. Um, you could find it online. Uh, it was just fun, but I'll share most of the stuff I talked about here. Uh, but the reason I felt called to make a video today is, first off, it's the new year. Um, most of the videos I've been making recently have been about music. And that's the thing about this channel is this you enjoy life. It's not one thing. So if you're finding me and you're really into barefooting stuff, for example, I love putting out barefoot content, but I also like doing music and food and different things. The whole channel is about enjoying life, being in that state of joy. It's never just one thing, but there's always playlists here so you can see if you're more interested in barefoot running and hiking and all that stuff, there is plenty. Um, it is winter. It is quite beautiful outside. Let's see if I can give you a little doozy. Look at that. Outside. I mean, personally, I've been really enjoying just putting my feet into the cold. Um, now, it gets cold after a while. Yesterday it was literally 10 degrees, so it was freaking freezing. Um, went for a hike, I ended up actually using wool socks, which has been pretty cool. Maybe I should just do this out here, let's see. Uh, let's see, it's a beautiful day. Oh my God, is it not incredible out today? Holy Lord. Yesterday was freezing, so um, Aja and I went on a hike, and yeah, I've been testing out some different things with my feet and what I'm noticing is when it's super cold putting on wool socks helps um, I haven't found like a barefoot boot that I like I've been kind of testing out some prototypes I've been making but I haven't found any kind of barefoot boot or anything I, I don't know if I'm gonna go that route but I've also never gone through a boulder winter completely barefoot um, I can stand in the snow for quite a while barefoot um, but yesterday yeah we were probably out for an hour and a half and something about just wool socks in the snow it feels really nice my feet by the end were pretty freaking cold. Um, so first off, I'm gonna just say, if you're someone who likes to go barefoot, um, first off, awesome, awesome, awesome. But know that like, I think when I first started doing it, I felt so hardcore, I was like, I can never wear shoes again or socks. And, but over time, it's like, it's not really about that. What matters is the relationship that you develop with your feet. And I talk about this more in my book, which is of course free, link below, you'll find it. Um, but. Developing a relationship with your feet is going to be much more important because it will tell you what to do. It's actually a little chilly. I'll go back and say. Um, there's also a lot of sounds out there. Yeah, so the more you get to know what your feet's needs are, the more you respect the foot, the more you connect with the foot. Put this down. The more that things are going to just naturally change and open up and grow. And that's, I think that was kind of the missing piece for me. And one of the reasons I got really into barefooting and, and felt like I needed to write a book was there wasn't that much information about this wonderful world of feet. I'm actually creating a barefoot NFT, if you know what NFTs are right now, I'm creating the first barefoot NFT. We'll see how that goes. Um, more information on that later. But yeah, so when you develop a deeper relationship to your foot, it kind of like your life just changes. So understanding you know, social environments and going out to restaurants and markets, there's a lot of things to consider with being barefoot. Um, but to me, like when I spread the message about the feet, spread the foot love, it's so much more about just knowing that your feet are incredible and then when you just shove them in shoes, like we, we give so little value to our feet in this society. You've got the people that are like the foot fetish, people that love feet, and then you've got the people that just think feet are gross. And it's, in some ways it kind of feels like that's it. But there's this whole spectrum, right? So if you're wearing shoes that are destroying your feet, and your feet are uncomfortable and like I, that was how it always was for me I never liked my shoes I was struggled to find good ones it was never that great it was just like better than the, the not terrible ones right um, but so when I started going barefoot I was like oh I was never exposed to the reality that feet are this incredible thing and listen my, my dad was a foot doctor so whole life I was around feet I was seeing f gross and weird feet and x-rays he would always be looking at x-rays and stuff so feet were like always in my view and I never knew why I had some kind of weird jaw to them. So when I started going barefoot and started realizing that the shoes I was wearing were damaging my feet, were 
basically making my feet completely like scrunched together like this and I'm comfortable. And then when I started going barefoot, they started widening back out and they started getting more flexible and more fluid. And I was like, oh, I can train my feet to be amazing. And yeah, there might be situations where I have to put something on, a sand or whatever, you know, or even in some cases people have, you know, they go barefoot, but then they still have to wear shoes. And that's okay, there's lots of options. There are amazing Vivo Barefoot makes all these minimal shoes, zero sand, like zero shoes. They have a whole line of different shoes that you can wear that are much more simple, that are much more conducive to allowing your foot to be a foot. And the beautiful thing about that is that when you give your foot the space to be a foot, it, it takes care of the rest of your body. Literally, your feet are the foundation of your entire body. So when you put your feet into the ground, right, and you put that whatever surface you're on, they start to adapt and they start to mold, and that allows the rest of your body to keep like just its natural form. Because what's wild is when you wear a shoe, you're basically, it's like a foot prison, you're locking, especially, like let's say you wear a heel, right? And it's like locks your foot in like this and it raises uh, the heel. And then your foot is just like this jagged thing that's stuck in this one position. And then the rest of your body has to like make sense of how to move. And you know, say, I'm, not that I wear heels, but say I'm wearing these heels and I'm like trying to walk. Well, it's like you're walking on stilts or something and the rest of your body has to adjust to fit into that. So one thing that people say is like, well, if shoes aren't natural, clothes aren't natural either. So why are you wearing clothes? And first off, I try to wear as little as possible. Most of the time, especially when it's nice out, I'm just wearing like a short pair of shorts and nothing else. When I was in Mexico and Costa Rica, it's pretty much all I wore. Because I want to wear as little as possible so I feel as free as possible. Whenever I'm playing music, I often take my shirt off because I just, it's not like I'm trying to show off this body or something. <laughs> not much to show off. I just like to have as little on as possible. Even this shirt, I can feel uncomfortable. Um, I've gotten rid of a lot of my clothing and you know, started to try to make some clothing and just kind of like get really simple stuff because what matters is the comfort. I notice when I'm not comfortable. And shoes are probably the most uncomfortable thing that most people wear. So when people say, yeah, well, what about clothes? Why aren't you naked? It's like, well, you know, I'm, I like being naked. I like having very, very little on. But the difference is that your shirt, like a shirt like this, isn't going to affect my body as much. It will a little bit, but not nearly as much as like a tight shoe. And in our culture, we've just created these shoes that are so like non-conducive, if that's the word, to, to how our feet want to be. Because your foot wants to be wide. So it's wild. I'll show you about these feet. Let's see if I can see here. Whoops, he does. So if you look at my feet right now, right, they're spread out. But if I don't spread them out, even so, like the, my feet are still growing and spreading out over time. But the thing about feet is if, if they're like this in a shoe, right? Well then, yeah, the widest part is gonna be the ball. But when they're open naturally, actually the widest part of your foot are your toes. And when you see oftentimes indigenous people, their toes are the widest part of the foot. But the way that if you look at your shoes, they're so scrunched in, they're like this. So this takes away so much of the functioning. Not only that, but your arch, right? The arch is dynamic. It's not one way, but the shoe kind of locks the arch in. The arch wants to go down. It wants to go up, right? It wants to push down. So when I'm, when I'm running and I'm stepping, it, it goes down like a spring and shoots me back up, right? Because there's an arch. It's got movement. It's not just one thing, but the foot is often kept because of shoes just in this one way. It's just locked into a position. So because it's locked into a position, like I said, the rest of your body has to try to make sense of that. And people have back problems and knee problems. and the, it, it starts from the ground floor and works its way up, right? So you can adjust, but you're going to find that things are kind of off because this is your body. That's the crazy part. This is literally, there's nothing more powerful and wonderful than your body and understanding how your body works. 